Hello everyone. My name is Hannah and I'm the Community Archaeologist at Surrey County Archaeological Unit. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the results from our excavations of a Saxon cemetery at New Tree Furlong, Hawks Hill in Fetcham. This presentation does contain images of burials. In 2010, Scow carried out excavations at the site of New Tree Furlong in Fetcham, Surrey, in preparation for a residential redevelopment. Hawks Hill is reasonably well known for the Iron Age and Saxon evidence it has produced in the past. Some of these sites have been identified on the plan on the right. An Iron Age farmstead, marked with an N in a pink circle, was excavated in the early 1960s. At least 65 Saxon burials have been identified in the immediate vicinity of the site previously, so archaeologists were expecting similar results for the 2010 excavations. The excavations were split into three plots, but only plots one and two showed features of archaeological interest. Plot two contained mainly natural features. This means that the features were not man-made. Plot 1 contained 18 graves, all east-north-east to west-south-west -west aligned, with their heads at the western end. The lack of intercutting burials is common to Saxon cemeteries and suggests that markers were used, or that there was once a visible mound above each grave. Preservation of the bones varied greatly, with some moderately well preserved and others almost completely decayed. A specialist was able to age and sex several of the burials. Three were of infants aged between four and ten years, and two aged between twelve and seventeen years. Six were classed as adults, but the bone was not well preserved enough to age the other seven. By measuring bone length, it was possible to estimate the height of some of the individuals. The most accurate estimate is based on the measurement of both the femur and the tibia. The female's heights range from 1.61 metres and 1.68 metres, with the male standing slightly taller, between 1.7 and 1.8 metres. Grave goods were found in all except five of the burials. It is interesting to note that these five were all found close together. The graves that contained grave goods have their numbers written in red. Twelve burials contained knives, including both male and female examples with other grave goods present in all but two cases. Like the knives, most of the finds were of a domestic character, including iron shears and a chisel, a wet stone, a spindle whirl and a bone comb. Other grave goods included two necklaces. The absence of weaponry or brooches is noteworthy. None of the items are closely datable, but their general character is wholly consistent with a 7th century date. Please note that images of Saxon burials are included in the remainder of this presentation. Grave 229 was a badly degraded burial of an unsexed adult lying flat, with little more than the long bones and skulls surviving. Associated with the burial, however, was an impressive array of finds. A shale spindle whirl used to spin yarn was found at the feet of the burial and a 7th century iron knife with horn handle located beneath the right shoulder and upper humerus. Around the chest and neck area, 16 complete rings or fragments of rings of silver alloy wire, seven glass beads and a pierced Roman coin were found, likely to have formed a necklace. 
bead 14 and 15 are classic wound spiral beads and these occur in the 7th century at exactly the same period of time as the wire rings. A pierced silver denarius of Hadrian was also found with the remains of a suspension thread in the hole. The Roman coin would have been reused to form part of the necklace. More details of our excavations at New Tree Furlong Fetchen can be found in our publication Late Upper Paleolithic, Early Mesolithic, Roman and Saxon Discoveries at Fetchum near Leatherhead. All our publications are available to purchase from our website www.surreycc.gov.uk forward slash scow and click on Spoil Heap Publications. You can also learn more about archaeology in Surrey on our Facebook page, Digging Surrey's Past or email us for more information on volunteering in archaeology at education.scow at surreycc.gov.uk.